Hey, STEM friends. Welcome to the Joy of Stamping with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn, and it's our fun fold Friday. Today, I'll be using the Snailed It stamp set by Stamping Up, and I have a really fun card to show you today using the mini or 3x3 three three envelope. Go ahead and hold while I flip, and we'll get started. All right, let's see how that looks. I'm gonna just adjust it just a little bit. There we go, that looks better. Hey Marjean, glad you're here. Today we're making a really fun card. And before I get started, I wanna remind you, feel free to comment during this live. When you do that, you may win the card that we're making in today's video. Let me go ahead and show you the card and then I'll show you the stamp set and products that we use. So here it is. It has this cute little snail on the front. It says you got mail. And then it has this fun little ribbon right here that when we pull on this, it shows the inside where it has the cute mushrooms and it says hello. And then we can flip it over for where we can write our own message. And this is the card. So this um, doesn't have an open, like a traditional card, which makes it more fun. And we are using the three by three envelope as well to make a fun little pocket. This card would be great to put cash into and also like a gift card or something. I know graduation's coming and weddings and fun things like that. So that would be a great card to send. I was inspired by this card here that I made at a stamp camp where I use the pr pretty perennial stamp set. So we have the happy mail and then the cute flowers with a for you and also on the back. That same idea. So you can use the same layout with different stamp sets. This just happened to be my favorite because I love snails. Uh, we literally have a snail season here in California. So we see them all the time. They must like the salty coastal air, right? That must be it. All right. So let me show you the stamps we're using in today's card. We're using that cute little hello. I'm using this guy and I'm stamping him actually twice. And then I, we're using this fun mushroom and that little tiny heart. The colors I'm using are Bermuda Bay ink, right there, and Memento black. And this is what we use when we want to use our stamping blends. All right, let's go ahead and get this in view and we'll get ready. Let me show you the pieces that we have. So it starts off with a Bermuda Bay four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock. So that's just one little rectangle piece. You can make four cards out of one piece of cardstock with this layout. Then we have the DSP, which is four by five and a quarter. So that will layer up just like that. Let me go ahead and glue that down now so it's ready to go. And the back of this paper is really cute too. So you'd have to pick what side you'd want to use. Either one is super fun. All right. I'll glue our paper down real quick. And how I pick the colors for our card today is that I use them with to match our card um, DSP. So I'm using Blushing Bride and I use Poppy Parade and that Bermuda Bay right there and a little bit of Daffodil. All right. So next what we need to do is get ready to stamp. Let me show you the rest of our pieces. We have our three by three um, envelope. And then we have this cute little snail. I've already stamped him in the Memento ink. I've colored him with my stamping blends and I have die cut him out, which is all part of this bundle here. They have dies that will cut out different shapes. And this die only cuts out the snail and leaves the words um, not a part of it. So really fun dies there. Then I've also used another set of dies called Stitch So Sweetly. And we've created three of these stitched and scalloped rectangles. We'll be using these to stamp on and to build our fun little pulling um, tag. All right. So first what we want to do now that we've already glued on our DSP and we have our snail ready to go, is go ahead and grab your paper snips and we're just going to cut off the very top of our three by three envelope, just like this. And you just want to go a little bit below that score line and snip it across like that. Then we need to stamp on here next. Let's grab our Memento ink 
and our cute little snail. Ink them up. And you'll just center him right there in the middle of your envelope. For this one, I mostly want to make sure my words are good. We're gonna cover up this guy right now with the one that we've already die cut and colored. Because blends do bleed, let me show you on the back side. You see how it looks like it um, runs through a little bit? It actually didn't make a mess on my paper, but it could potentially. So I wanted to cut this one out separately and not color directly on my little envelope. You probably could and get away with it, but I was just being on the cautious side today. So we just glue on the back of this guy and just cover up that other snail underneath. And we have our cute little snail all ready to go like that. Then we want to get some strong adhesive. So either you'll want your um, tear tape or I'm using the Seal Plus. This is a brand new one, so I'm going to get it started with my finger a little bit. Make sure it's ready to go. There we go. And we want to put just a little bit across some of the main points right there. Perfect. Then you can either have it match along with the DSP line or go just a little bit above. I like to show a little bit of the DSP on the bottom instead of having it flush. So we'll just put it just like that. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and stamp on our pieces here. We won't do any actual stamping on this one, so just set that one aside. But we will be doing some stamping on both these two. We're gonna grab our Bermuda Bay ink and we're going to stamp our mushrooms. If you prefer to have another snail, this would be another cute snail to do here. Mushrooms seem to be coming back. I remember as a little girl loving to draw mushrooms like when I was doodling on paper. So it's kind of fun for me to see them becoming popular again and back in crafting things. All right, so there we go. We just stamped that on there about a little bit above center. And then I'm grabbing my hello. We'll ink that up and put it just below our mushrooms. Cute. All right, lastly, there's this awesome little heart that matches with the DSP and our cute little envelope right there. So we're gonna keep this going and just add a little heart to the corner of that one, just like that. All right, let's go ahead and put our ink away and I'm gonna show you a really fun thing I also learned at the stamp camp I went to. So this is Stamping Up's cha Stamping Chalk Marker and it's white. So we can see that, okay, there we go. And what we're gonna do is just color in some of our mushroom here and our leaves. And when we do that, it's gonna pick up some of the ink that's already on the paper. And it's gonna make it a fun kind of blended look to it. And it's a really fun technique is to color on colored cardstock. Can you see that? Let me gra grab it closer so you can see the difference. Okay, let me grab a little good lighting maybe. You see how there's white on there now, but it also has a little bit of hints of that Bermuda Bay in it. Super fun. And this makes coloring go by pretty quick and you don't have to be perfect. So my mushroom before, I just colored in these little circles here, just like that. And maybe a little bit around the grass. Let's color in this mushroom guy here. And let's do this tall one there too. All right, that's how our mushroom has come out. Super cute and easy and just a little bit, right? Love it. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is start to assemble using now our Bermuda Bay one. Grab that and I'm using the soon to be retiring um, Daffodil Delight Ruched Ribbon. And you're gonna use 12 inches. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab this and go to the center of our Bermuda Bay scalloped rectangle. And we'll get it as even as we can. If you wanna be exact, you can either measure this piece here or you can even count the scallops to get to the center. I'm not too worried. So I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball it and put where I think center looks. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab 
some twine. This is our snail mail twine combo pack. Comes with the color of the brushing, blushing bride. And it comes with our whisper white or our basic white, I should say. We had that switch over just recently. And you'll need about, I'll say 10 inches to give you enough wiggle room. And we're gonna slide that underneath our ribbon on the top. We have them gathered together. And we're gonna tie a, two knots first and then a bow. Make sure that's lined up again. I just moved it just a little bit. Okay. And we're not using any adhesive to keep this ribbon down right now. And so it has a lot of wiggle room and it makes it a little tricky to work with, but because of that, we can arrange it after I've tie on this knot. Okay, so we have to do one knot and then we'll do one more and then tie our bow. Just like that. You may notice my house is quiet today. I hope I'm, I'm not jinxing it. My kids were able to go to the swimming pool for the first time in a year. They had to make an appointment with our um, our military pool, but they were able to go and swim for 45 minutes today. So I have a nice quiet house. Lily is still here though, so she might <laughs> might say something. We'll see how how it goes. All right, so you can play with that bow if you want. But that looks pretty good. We're just going to trim our ends just a little bit on both sides. There we go. And then what we want to do is go ahead and glue on this on the back side. We'll flip it over like that. And what we can do is put that seal plus again on there to keep it pretty strong. And we're going to use this to help us keep this stationary, our little ribbon here. So make sure you have it where you want it at this point now before we put this part on. Go ahead and grab that and center it just like so. Perfect. Just kind of rub it down, make sure that adhesive is picking it up because it's gonna have that line right there. So when you write on this, just be aware of that line and it might make it bumpy. All right, next we want to go ahead and add dimensionals to this side. We'll grab just a couple in each corner, one in the center, and the bottom corners. We'll remove the backs. Sometimes I'm really good at removing the backs, and other times it's trickier. <laughs> All right, grab that and go ahead and get your ribbon where it wants it to be and attach to our little tag awesome and then let's see if it fits we'll put it in there and we'll just slide it right in maybe <laughs> sometimes the scallops make it a little tricky so i just make sure i line it up right and there we go we did it we made this really fun and easy fun fold card i hope you guys have enjoyed learning how to make this card today and give it a try. Just cut off that top of that three by three of DSP, throw that piece, sorry, of envelope <laughs> and throw that top away and make your own little fun pocket. Have a great Easter weekend, everyone. Happy stamping. Goodbye.